freemmostation.com. What's up guys, Zebra here for freemmostation.com and today we're going to be taking a look at Lowdown. Lowdown is a third person arena shooter that's now available for free to play on Steam. It's been floating around on beta since about 2012 and it's had a lot of time to develop and it really has developed well. It's a little different from your average shooter as there really isn't any type of class system. Instead you have an extensive weapon customization system. This system really works well and you can customize your weapons to the point where it completely caters to your style of play. Then you can combine your weapons to a perfect loadout just for you. The game modes are really fun but really easy to understand as well. You have things like capture the flag and kill confirmed, which these are very simple game modes that everyone really does understand pretty easily, but they're still able to make them very, very fun by putting interesting twists on them. With that being said, why don't we take a look at how your weapons can be customized. Okay, so now we are on the loadout main menu, and we have two types of currencies in which we can purchase things. We have Bloots and space box. Bloots are completely in-game currency. You get them by playing and gaining levels and just earning it. Now, space bucks are purchase only, and you can see the prices of them here. Now, there's nothing really exactly pay to win. All weapons are actually able to be purchased through the Bloots, so it's very nice and very fair. In weapon crafting, we can obviously make our weapons. We can make them and name them and change them to our liking. We have two slots to start out with, but we gain more as we start leveling up. But after six, we have to buy some. So we get the name of our weapon and we get to go into making it. Now there's a lot of components to making your weapon. The main one is choosing what actually shoots out of your gun. The rocket launcher, the pulse gun, or even a beam. They all have different little things about them, like the rifle shoots out actual bullets, while the beam is sort of like a laser that goes out for infinite distance. They all have their own little effects that really change how you want to build your gun. Now there's a lot of really tiny things you can change about the gun as well. Stuff like your stock, or maybe your scope, maybe you want more of a, like an iron sight, or maybe you just want some type of different barrel if you don't want like, like a one-shot sniper rifle, or a semi-automatic. Something like that, you have your trigger, you also have your magazine, all of the things you change will affect certain stats, but you know, make other stats worse, so it's all about changing the direction to your gun. You also have payload, which can change sort of the element that shoots out of your gun. Maybe your gun will have an electrifying shock to it, or maybe some fire effects. And then dynamics can change how they Get, you know, shoot out of your gun. Either it be a corkscrew effect or a bouncing effect. There's tons of different things you can change. Now that we've designed our ideal weapons, we get to go to the loadout. Now the loadout, we can choose two weapons and a special effect, basically. The two weapons, you want to make something that has really good synergy. Now you have three slots of loadouts available to you before you have to buy more. I personally use a long range weapon followed by a short range weapon to sort of scare them off and then shoot them when they're running away. You also can choose different effects. You can choose grenades or even have a turret, but you can also have different effects like a shield or maybe have a disguise. There's a lot of different things in here and it's really cool to see what you might be able to change and suit to your playstyle. You can also choose what character you play as, as we'll get into in a little bit later but you can choose custom characters that you've made. In the Outfitter, we can make whatever person in any costume that we want. Loadout has a huge selection of really funny just cosmetics that you can put on your character. The only downside to this is there's no way to buy these cosmetics with in-game currency. Everything that is cosmetic on this character selection type of thing is actually real money only all through space box. I haven't been able to mess with this too much, but you can see all of the awesome and funny possibilities that your character can look like. It's really a hoot to see some of these, and it's really cool. After you've seen all of that kind of stuff, you can go into the tech tree. Now the tech tree sort of is mixed in with weapon crafting. You are able to buy things into the tech tree, and then you'll be able to select them in your weapon crafting. So if I want to upgrade something for my rifle or my launcher, it will affect my rifle and launcher weapons. You can also upgrade your equipment here. The equipment we saw in the loadouts, like our different types of grenades or even the different types of abilities, we can purchase them here. 
Now prices are really fair. I can earn about eight to ten thousand of my brutes in about an hour or two of play. There's nothing that really seems like I have to sit here playing all day for one tiny thing. And that's really how you design your weapons in Lowdown. They give you a lot of freedom and it's really awesome how it's all designed. I've been really consumed by this game within the last few days because of just how much fun I've been having and I'm really deeply invested in games like Team Fortress 2. So it sort of shows that kind of comparison and what you may be interested in if you try this game. Thank you guys so much for watching, this is Zebra, and I'll see you guys later.